Look at your landscapes. Can you think of the interactions which take place between biodiversity and agriculture? How do they influence each other? Agriculture is a victim as well as a driver of biodiversity loss. This biodiversity underpins the functions and services that together form a landscape. These are critical to agriculture, boosting its resilience in the face of pests, diseases and climate change. While most of today's industrial agricultural system succeed at producing food, they often do it at the expense of the very natural systems that sustain them. Industrial agriculture may reduce crop genetic diversity and drive harmful land use change, acting as a source of greenhouse gas emissions and pollution and leading to the loss of natural habitats and species as a result. In fact, industrial agricultural practices have turned the global food system into the primary driver of biodiversity loss. This decline in biodiversity makes it harder to sustainably grow the crops needed and to ensure agricultural livelihoods. So how can we transform agriculture to make it work for people and the planet while taking into account the synergies that exist between agriculture and biodiversity? Well, the diversification of agricultural landscapes offers exactly this, a holistic strategy to address biodiversity loss. And when coupled with principles of food sovereignty, farmers and communities can have a say over how their food is produced and distributed. By shifting the balance of power and partnering with farmers who adopt sustainable agricultural methods, we can remedy our unjust food systems. Together, diversified agricultural landscapes and more just and localized food systems can promote sustainable land use practices preserve healthy agroecosystems, reduce food waste, and secure livelihoods. So how we use agricultural land matters, not only for the sustainability of food systems, but also to ensure its contribution to biodiversity conservation at the landscape level. Around the world, innovative agricultural approaches show that sustainable agriculture is possible. Take oil palm, one of the world's most important oil crops. It has driven large-scale deforestation and natural habitat destruction, but it needn't be this way. We can decouple increased oil palm production and deforestation through proper land use planning. For example, through multifunctional plantation design, which offers a space for different land uses. It improves the productivity of existing plantations and meaningfully involves local communities in sustainable farming and harvesting practices. Another example is the raising of ducks in rice paddies, which is a modern multi-species farming system with traditional roots. Rice is a slow-growing plant and is easily outcompeted by weeds. Hoeing these weeds is time-consuming and any herbicides may pollute the water and harm beneficial biodiversity. Enter the ducks. They eat weeds and pests such as apple snails. Their dabbling releases nutrients from the soil and their droppings act as a fertilizer. In addition, they supplement livelihoods through meat and eggs. This integrated approach is an effective way of protecting rice crops but is also cheaper and environmentally friendly. Similarly, Modern shrimp aquaculture is also being informed by century-old methods, such as using natural tides to supply nutrients, and shallow ponds in mangrove ecosystems where shrimp can mature. Industrial shrimp farming comes with a series of problems. Organic waste alters the quality of surrounding aquatic ecosystems. Diseases can easily spread to neighboring farms through untreated effluents, and salt water may seep into adjoining agricultural land. Other reasons for concern are the destruction of vital ecosystems such as mangroves and the amount of wild fish required to feed the shrimp. One way to reduce the impacts of shrimp aquaculture is through circular systems. Consider this. Instead of discharging wastewater into the environment, it is recirculated. 
Oysters and seaweed cultivated in interconnected ponds filter this water and help to absorb excess organic material. This approach tackles risks that are otherwise hard to control, whether the pollution of neighboring water bodies with excess nutrients and antibiotics, disease outbreaks, weather fluctuations, or even attacks from natural predators. Agroforestry and farmer-managed natural regeneration, a low-cost land restoration technique, are other approaches to sustainable agriculture which simultaneously restore landscapes, and we encourage you to explore these further. Until then, remember that diversified agroecological systems provide not just solutions, but deliver contextualized solutions to local problems and aim to combine science with traditional, practical and local knowledge. In doing this, they encourage a holistic and sustainable transformation of the entire agricultural system.